welcome back to another video hope you are having a great day and today to take a look on how we can install home assistant on a computer with windows 11 the easiest way that i'm aware of we will install it like any other app actually easier we just need to download the folder put it right over here and then execute one file and that is it we will have home assistant running now let's take a look at the screen and see how easy it is so here we are on the windows desktop ready to install home assistant in the easiest way that i'm aware of now first of all the person that has been developing is alex so alex if you come by a huge thumbs up thanks for the great work and right now if you want to install it the only thing that you will need to do is to go to the releases and download but before we do if you are using windows 11 pro like i am right now but if you still haven't activated and you can't take advantage of simple things like customizing our desktop the icons that we use and so on and so forth don't forget to check out cdksales.com where you can find budget official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below just next to the link for the alex it github page where you can download home assistant and just run it on your computer while you do any other thing that you do on your computer now let's take a look right over here so the only thing that we will need is to go to the releases and if we press here there are 16 releases now we will want to download this one which is the latest one it is available since first of january of 2024 so we have a few days delayed now we did a video quite a while back and let me just show you something which is interesting at least so that you can check out from the latest video and today the changes that have been made now i'm not going to waste your time but if you want to see the changes and the implementations that alex has been doing everything is right over here this was the version that we took a look a few years back now let's go to the page where we were you can read if you want to we just need to go right over here and press to download the file it will start downloading but i already have the file here on my computer so here i am on the downloads folder and i've got two folders one is the one that we downloaded and it's a zip file now this when you download it will take a while unzipping so you can start right now and unzip it on the background and i've got the unzipped file right over here i just need to open and this is it the installation is done we can run home assistant right now on this computer without doing well at least i need to do one thing more which is i need to go right over here and double click on the ass and it will um start this terminal window or command window and it's it's doing its magic now if you get a warning on windows i sometimes get just select run anyway there will be no issues whatsoever because everything is doing its own job now i can just put this window right over here and while it starts i can show you something might be interesting for you which is on the config uh, folder right over here we have all sorts of things that we can customize like the yaml files config and so on and so forth but there is one which is this one right over here the reset which is just awesome if i do something and i need to reset the old home assistant installation i just need to close this window right over here and then double click on reset and it will clean everything and while i was talking it's already started i have home assistant running on this windows computer and it's available for any computer on my network and if we want to use outside the network we can also do that we have seen here on the channel several videos i will try to leave some right over here on the youtube cards now one of the things that you might be wondering is a hey, robot that ip address is not what i usually have here at home and it's easy other thing that you might be wondering is why it's in portuguese it's because i'm portuguese so let's find english because the chances are that you are english or that you speak english so here we go so we were talking about the ip but we will see that in just a moment now i just need to create my smart home and i just need to select my name and a password and i need to repeat that password now if you live in amsterdam great i don't but i don't need to put my location now in in case you want to put your own location just press this button it will detect automatically i'm going to press next country yes i live in portugal and press next and there we go 
just press next and we found compatible devices great it's already finding things that i've got on my network so if i go right over here on the notifications what i can see is that new devices discovered so if i go to checkout check this out i didn't do anything yet everything is getting discovered on the network shelly devices and the volo devices android devices and so on and so forth now let's talk about the ip before i integrate some son of devices right over here in a really easy way so if i go to my wi-fi settings right over here and if i go to my wi-fi which is connected at this moment and go to info it will take me to this page right over here and it will give me my ip address which is this one right over here i just need to copy and then i can use this address on any computer of my network so i just need to press this and then uh, two dots eight one two three and press enter i just need then to press my username and my password my keyboard was disconnected so password and bam there we go don't need to save this password so i can log in through this ip address on any device of my network without any issues or i can use this one right over here doesn't matter but this one is for every other machine now i can keep on working on this one if i go to the notifications i can see that login attempt failed yeah i did fail that if i check out the devices i already have more devices and at this moment if you have any son of devices for example i just need to go and uh, put in the integrations and select or search for son of and there we go and it will ask me for my credentials i just placed my credentials and press finished i didn't show you the screen but everything was uh, found and we can see by the script here on the background that it's doing things now one thing to have in mind we cannot close this window we just need to minimize it because we don't need that information and it will work on the background so if i go to devices right over here i can see that i already have a lot of son of devices integrated and if i go to the overview which we can then customize as we have seen on other videos i can see some of them already here so for example if i want to turn off uh, this light which is that one right over there and i'm using a webcam so at this moment it's on automatic and it will force iso but if i go to this one right over here i can just disconnect that light and you could see it and i can turn it on and i can turn on this one here and i can also turn this one here if i want so you can see them turning on and off so it works great everything is integrated now the only limitation that this installation has is that it doesn't have supervisor if you don't know what is supervisor then probably you will not need it if you know and you really need supervisor then this is not the installation for you it's the only limitation that alex right over here was not able to implement and i believe that it's not possible with this kind but in terms of the installation this is the easiest way that i know of that we can have home assistant running on windows 11 and that is it hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one